Okay guys, so I can't believe I totally forgot to do a free stuff video on this 1974 John Deere 112. It's electric lift. Now this thing sat over behind that house in a shed, an old metal shed. with a tree that had fallen down on top of it. Oh, and the shed sits back in some weeds. We have had this running for those of you guys that, that do follow me. We have had it running. I got a carburetor ordered for it because I'm pretty sure that carburetor is going to be bad. Uh, now the guy that used to own this has passed away, but he said he had one back there. He said, oh, I know it's been back there 20 years or better. And that could be true. Um, I jacked it up to see if any of these tires would take air. And I mean, I can shove my finger through there. That's both both back tires are that way this one does take air and hold it this one is leaking around the bead so i think i can get that one to hold air we went to a tractor junkyard yesterday and we couldn't find any tires i think i only seen one anyway that would even fit it's a 23 by eight and a half by 12. now i couldn't get the the lid off the gas cap but I finally got it I used a pair of uh, channel locks and yeah what this is this is an old float okay and what that would do was float up and as it would float across that bent looking thing there it would turn and inside there would be a little needle okay and that would tell you how much gas you had, a little gas gauge. Now I'm smelling turpentine. And I haven't smelled turpentine in old gas in a long time. So, and I haven't seen this kind of since regular gasoline, you know. So, my guess is that thing probably has been sent in 20 years. Uh, it's got liquid in it, so I know the tank's not leaking. This is all locked up. The pet cock is all locked up there. Um, whew, yeah, it stinks to high heaven. Uh, this is where the um, pack rat had, apps, had it, apparently chewed through. Now this has a, a hose that's still on the tractor that goes down underneath. That way if you spill any, it just spills it onto the ground. And that's the way they did things back then. Nowadays, sheesh, you catch, get caught spilling any gas, they freak out. Wow. I don't know where to dump this out at. But there is liquid in there. Let's go out back and we'll dump it on the fire pit. We'll see what that stuff looks like. It's not, I mean, I'm sure I can get that tank clean. I'll put some of this carburetor cleaner in there, shake it around, let it set for a week or two. Uh, so the tank's good. I can always get another pet cock for it. Or I can just run a rig, just run a straight tube down to the fuel pump which I think the fuel pump is probably going to be the same way I'm sure that fuel pumps not going to be much count I'll have to take it off and find out um, I've got a fuel pump back there I, I think I can make work on that if not they're very very cheap 10 15 bucks um, 
so I ordered a carburetor I believe it's got the lines it's got lines and clamps and I believe it does have it's just got one of those cheap plastic shutoffs I'd like to stick with the original if I can but boy I don't know that thing is you know judging from you know this stuff that's all in there and I'm sh so I'm sure that carburetor is full so I just like I said I just went ahead and ordered a carburetor for it it was like 20 bucks just a cheap one but you know there's it was 15 bucks just for uh what was it five parts to rebuild that which really was nothing and that's not saying that there's not stuff up in that carburetor which i'm sure there is because it sat apparently with gas in it and it's going to have that all up in them lines we'll take it apart and see but that stuff is, as you can see, it just it hardens up almost like a plastic or a rubber maybe. So, yeah, see that all that stuff. You get that stuff in there. It's it's hard to find anything that'll that'll eat that stuff away. You know what I mean? So, not worried about the cap. I can get a cap for that. All right, let's take it out back and dump it out. Okay, guys, I cut this water bottle in half. We're going to try to dump some of this in here, see what it looks like. Ugh. That used to be gasoline. I'm guaranteeing you, that gas is well over 20 years old. I'm sure it is. Wow. Like I say, it smells more like like varnish. That's a better way to put it. It it just the uh, regular gasoline, you know, they don't sell anymore, would turn to varnish after a while. Turpentine varnish. And that's exactly I remember my dad getting old cars and bringing them in, starting them up. And I remember this stuff, him taking out the gas tanks and carburetors, and that was years and years ago, and that was in the 70s, but I don't know how long, he said 20 years or better, so I'm, I'm inclined to believe that, and that shed looks like it's an older shed, probably from the 80s, so that would be my guess, that thing was parked in the 80s, <clears throat> check that out. Wow. Pour some out over here and let's see if it let's see if we can get it to light. Soaks right into that sand. It lit. But remember, it's still gas. Even though it's old gas, it's still gas. Huh. Okay. Cool. Kind of. expensive stuff but I got to get new anyway I gotta get that wiped off of there I got the peacock sitting down in one of them holes so it'll set straight and we're gonna let it set a while a couple weeks probably and see if it helps it any and then I'll probably once it's all clean and dried out I'll put some nuts and bolts or something in there, wrap it up, put it in the dryer on fluff or air, you know, so there's no heat, and just let it tumble just like we did on the uh, on the scooter way back a couple years ago. 
and get it all cleaned out and then we'll see there um, never add fuel indoors avoid adding fuel while engine is hot wipe up spilled fuel okay all right so just wanted to share that with you guys that that's the story on that tractor um, let me get you up here uh, what it was Wow when there we go when he gave me the orange tractor the simplicity um, he was actually mowing and I was mowing that day and uh, he went to the house and came back with a couple beers he said, come on over have a beer so I walked across the street and we stood there and had a beer together and uh, he said that orange tractor up there you want it? and I said yeah he actually um, we pulled it with uh, monkeys John Deere and he steered it over for me and uh, he was on an old craftsman like a late 80s uh, Sears and Craftsman tractor and uh, he says I'm I'm fixing to go buy me a new tractor I said you are he said yeah he said when I do he said, you want this one too? And I said, yeah, might as well. And he said, also, around back there is an old shed. This was on a Friday. He said, inside that old shed is an old John Deere. He said, I don't know anything about it. I just know it's been there a long time. And that's when he said, it's been back here probably 20 years or better. But he says, back there, there's a, a tree fell on it. He says, you may have to dig it out. I don't know. I said, okay, well, I can't do it this weekend, you know, uh, but I can do it next weekend or maybe through the week. He said, sure, whenever it's there, it's not going anywhere. Well, that's, then Monday is when he passed away. Uh, so, anyway, it's been, that's the story on that. So, how I got it, interesting story. I was over here, what was I doing? I was working on the truck. I was working on the Toyota and I seen the bank lady um, she went over there and she had her phone out and, you know they do that they go over and check things out and then she come over and said excuse me sir I said yeah and she started asking me you know anything about the house and I told her everything I know I walked back over with her and uh, that tree house is actually Jerry's so I don't know if he built it or who built it but there's two lots there and we found that out so anyway uh, we walked through there because it's just a little thing you know probably I don't know five foot two maybe a hundred pounds just a tiny thing and she said I, I want to go in here and check this out and uh, she said you coming because <laughs> she's had some uh, pretty bad dealings when she goes into the houses and stuff and uh, somebody actually held her at bay one time with a loaded syringe and told her she wasn't getting back out of the house so she went and got her concealed carry and she carries a <laughs> nice Glock 9 and uh, she said well I'm going to the car and get my gun <laughs> so she went to the car and got her gun you should have seen her peeking around corners okay this room's clear but I asked her, as we was around back, I said, so you in charge with like the possessions here and stuff? And she said, well, yeah, pretty much. Why? Is there something you need or want? Because, you know, I'd already told her he was my friend. I said, well, right over there in that shed is an old John Deere tractor. I said, he gave it to me and I told her the story that, you know, and I, you know, I could, I'd never got it, you know. And she said, you come over and get that thing. She said the family's already got what they wanted, and if you don't get it, someone else is going to drag it out of there and take it to the scrapyard. She said, just come. I said, all right. I said, I'll come over and dare to and get it. She said, come over this evening if you want. She said, get it out of there as soon as you can because, you know, they done stole the air conditioning unit. And you know they're not going to use it because they didn't unhook anything. They cut everything. So I figured that went to scrap, too. But she said, yeah, she said, if anybody says anything to you, you tell them the bank lady said you can have it. And she said, you come and get your tractor. She said, he already gave that to you once. She said, you come and get it. 
So I said, okay. So that's when Monkey and I went over and got it. So that's the story on that free tractor there. So I didn't steal it, guys. I didn't sneak over in the middle of the night and get it. Um, I said, well, don't forget about it. She said, no, 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 nobody. She said, nobody even knows it was there. But she said, it's okay. Nobody's going to bother you about it. I said, that's good. So that's the story on the John Deere 112. So I don't know if I called it a 212, but it is a 112. It does have the K301 engine on it, which was the last, in 1974, was the last year they used that K301 engine. So, and it is a 12 horsepower. So, that's pretty cool. But anyway, guys, so I thought I'd share this with you. Um, you know, a free, a free stuff thing. I can't believe I, you know, Monkey even mentioned you gonna do a, a free video on it, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> so anyway, that's the story on that. So I got a carburetor coming; should be here Thursday, and I got a uh, just in case. I'm gonna I'm gonna change it anyway. The fuel pump in the Corvette. I got one of those coming. We got a high performance one. Uh, it's good up to 800 horsepower, but it's also um, a direct fit. You can use it on any car that that pump takes. Um, any car that that pump takes. Any. <laughs> anyway, you can use it on original equipment, so it'll be plenty good enough for that vet. And I still got to do the, uh, I was going to do it today, but my back's <laughs> killing me again. And here shortly, as soon as Monkey gets back, she went to the store, we'll make her supper. So, I just kind of took the day and watched my shows and, and kind of relaxed a little bit. So, uh, and then we'll do the VATS bypass, so that way we don't have trouble. Because, you know, it's a crapshoot. If you go turn that key, sometimes it'll crank and sometimes it won't. So, I think that's the anti-theft system but anyway guys i'm gonna say thanks for watching i appreciate it and that's the story again that's the story on that tractor that's how i got it and it was free so as of right now i ordered that the tires are shot i'm gonna to have to get tires but i ordered that carburetor so i'm into it for 20 bucks right now so <laughs> and about a cup full of this <laughs> and i'm not counting that all right guys again shea bear the myth man legend gone for now thanks for watching guys appreciate it we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys and take care